on everybody if you've been keeping up with the channel you know I've been doing a lot of videos on maintenance I spent a lot of time uh, downtime that we've had this winter getting caught up on some of the stuff I had to do spring break was coming up so I took three shifts off from the fire station giving me about 12 days of vacation that I could stay at home and get a lot of work done so that's what we've been doing the past couple weeks I was gonna kinda go over some of the stuff we've been doing you know, the first couple days we had some real nice weather so we were able to do some burning I had a fence uh, probably about a quarter mile barbed wire fence with 120 foot gate that that we uh, put in and another 16 foot gate but uh, we wanted to tear out the old fence so it's falling down uh, it's been up for years but so we took advantage of the good weather and kind of burned the fence row out and burned the brush and that's what we were doing in this picture is cleaning it out real nice so we could then go in and roll up the wire and take the tractor and pull up all the T posts and once we got the fence all cleared out I took the brush hog and went in and brush hogged all the rest of the little trees and shrubs that had grew up into it and the old fence and we actually moved the new fence on south along the edge of the road a little bit closer uh, we put in uh, six uh, corners four for the the two gates and then uh, got all those welded up still got to make the gates yet also if you uh, been following me on my uh, Hoogle Culture Mound build. I was able to finish that up uh, the past couple days. So it's all done. And then yesterday and the day before that, I uh, spent drilling about 35 acres of, of this new uh, cover crop seed that we're doing for the spring. Uh, it's more of a cool mix and then we got another batch that we're going to do probably the end of the May for a warmer season mix but I'll kind of go over that here in just a little bit. So this cool season mix that I uh, planted the other day was uh, 10 pounds to the acre of spring pea, 2 pounds to the acre of woolly pod vetch, 1 pound to the acre of red clover, uh, one pound to the acre of collards impact forage one pound to the acre of sunflower black oil seed and then 0.25 pounds to the acre of chicory and 0.25 pounds to the acre of Boston plantain now this is a, a cover crop seed mix that we're going to use for spring grazing we ordered this from uh, green cover seed uh, they've been really good at getting us what we need and coming up with uh, some solutions of good mixes for us to try out since we're new at starting this so uh, this this was the cool season mix and they suggested that we put it down at a seeding rate of 15.5 pounds to the acre so I got that drilled in uh, they do inoculate it for you so uh, the only thing that we might do different is some of the smaller seed they went ahead and mixed it in with uh, the bigger seed oh and I did add uh, uh, oats in with it and they weren't in there on the on the sheet but we added some oats in extra another thing that like I was talking about a second ago that that we might do different is put the uh, smaller seeds in for the legume box for the small seed box in the drill because when they get put in in the main grain box with the bigger seeds they seem to all vibrate and kind of just settle to the bottom so when you get towards the end end of running out of seed all the little seeds are kind of just bunched up right there in the bottom so we might next time we get a mix have them separate them out for us 
Now the other warm season mix that I was talking a little bit about, it's going to be uh, Red Ripper cow peas, mung bean, sun hemp, uh, hybrid sedan grass, brown top millet, pearl millet, grazing corn, uh, oil seed, sunflower, and uh, buckwheat. But we won't be planting that till it gets quite a bit warmer, and I'll kind of go over what the rate is and stuff on that when it gets closer to time to plant it. I also planted uh, several weeks ago, I, I did plant a little 7 to 10 ish acre plot of uh, another type of spring mix. It was actually March 1st when I planted that. It was uh, spring pea, chickling vetch, fava beans, red clover, alfalfa, grazing corn, chicory, and plantain. And I, uh, like I said, planted seven to ten or so acres, but it's already coming up. I got several different types of uh, plant growth coming, but I'm not quite sure uh, what's what yet because it's only about two or three inches tall and it's been. You know, 65 to 70 degrees and we've had some rain so it's really came on pretty good but I'm still not quite sure at this stage of what's exactly growing but I do know it's coming up so that's that's good so that's my update of the stuff that's been going on around here ranch work wise uh, I'll do a couple more videos here in the next month or so once uh, some of this stuff starts growing pretty good and so you guys can kind of see how it's coming along and we also got a couple other projects uh, we're working on. We're working on building a new uh, equipment shed that's in the early stages of being built but hopefully by the end of summer we'll be able to get it finished up so be on the lookout for a video of that later on this summer. But Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, give it a like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. 